Okay, quick announcement, real quick, but have to make this announcement because it's for a giveaway that I've wanted to do on this channel for a long time, just haven't been able to make it happen for whatever reason. But guys, finally giving away a brand new kayak to one of you out there, partnering with Sierra Nevada Brewing and Native Watercraft for this kayak giveaway. It's a Sierra Nevada wrapped kayak. It's a Native Watercraft Slayer Max Propel 10. You guys have seen that boat on my channel. It's an amazing fishing kayak. And obviously now it's got a super cool wrap. Guys, to enter this giveaway, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. As always, be weary of scammers. Usually they just respond to your comments in the YouTube section and pretend to be somebody else. Do not fall for that. The link for the giveaway is in the description and it's hosted again by Sierra Nevada native and myself and it is completely free to enter and the winner will get the kayak shipped right to their door. So super cool, really thankful for the opportunity uh, from these companies to give away a brand new kayak to one of you guys. And yeah, it's awesome. Link in description, good luck to everyone and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you saw last video, we made the trip east to Florida for our first iCast experience and what an experience it was. Crazy week, it went by so fast. Got to experience the whole thing, catch my first Florida bass, check out iCast, the expo, see old friends, meet new people, and a lot of stuff in between. But back in California, and of course, first weekend back in California, we've got a tournament. Yakabass, stop number six of eight. New Malones Reservoir, been on the road for about two hours, 7.15 a.m we're about 20 minutes from the lake but guys this is going to be uh, another exciting tournament weekend if you've been following the channel this year you'll know that for Yakabass series we've been doing pretty good as far as angler of the year we're in second currently and including this event there's three more tournaments left so sounds like this one's going to come down to the wire and we'll probably talk about that more later in this video and probably the tournament video but as I mentioned it is Thursday morning typically I only pre-fish one day for our Saturday tournaments but man the stakes are kind of high so giving myself basically two days to check out New Malones, check out this body of water and just see what's going on. Got everything packed up, got about 10,000 rods, 2,000 different baits, a weekend of airbnb -ing. not truck camping, so that's nice, which will be good because it's going to be, oh, 103, 104 degrees each day, including tournament day, so it's going to be a hot one. Hopefully the fishing's just as hot. I'm going to run in the gas station real quick, get some food, and I will see you guys out on the water for pre-fish. First spot, 8.39. Man, oh man. I think we gotta start with a jig. Haven't seen a whole lot of busting fish. Right by the ramp though, there was a ton of like one inch bass. Now I'm not saying that means anything particularly, but the fact that there were fish up shallow, especially bass, usually is a good sign. I bet you that means some of the bluegill are shallow and hopefully the better quality fish. Let's start with a jig. I'm gonna try to use my history here in July, maybe, to give us a hint. I think in the past, the few times we fished it in July, a little finesse jig with some chartreuse tends to do pretty good. A little chartreuse pen right here. You don't have to go crazy with the chartreuse, just a touch on the tips of the claws. Just give it a little bit extra pop. Got some other colors, of course, too. But, if there are bluegill shallow, little baby bluegill. This jig is usually the ticket. That sure truth. Remember a few years back, it was like four or five years back, this thing was just getting munched. That's the idea today. Figure out what they're biting, what they're doing, pattern, a depth. It's crazy how high this lake is too. I think we we're here, what, in April for the native tournament? It's gotta be another 30, 40, maybe 50 feet higher. I'll show you the depth chart right here. But I think, you know, it's pretty obvious that uh, we got a ton of rain in California this year. It's winter, really. It kind of stopped after March. But I think what a lot of people forget is it's because the rain stops doesn't mean these lakes aren't going to stop filling up. All that snow melt from the mountains is coming down basically throughout the entire year and that's just going to continue filling these lakes up. I'm pretty sure they're actually dumping water from this lake on a daily basis. And holy smokes, look how clear it is. 
Jeez, we'll be able to see fish if they're anywhere in 20 feet or less, that's for sure. It's funny, this is like the Malones, I remember when I first came here five years ago, I think was the first time I fished it. This is exactly what it looked like. Pretty neat. And the bite was really good too. There's a ton of fish right below me. In this tree. Could be dinks, but I mean, look at these fish loaded up. Got a drop shot. Huh? See what's down there. Probably little ones, but. You recall from the native tournament this was the problem because they had a 14 inch minimum and uh, a lot of people were catching dozens and dozens of fish like this not 14 inches obviously that's the thing with this lake it's fun there's a million fish like that size just weeding through them is the trouble you know there's probably 20 30 fish down there and if only two of them are three pounders what are the odds that fish will get the bait before the little ones do you know that's why i think sometimes a jig is the better option just to catch better quality fish in general here it weeds out some of those smaller class fish yeah, i've said it you know you go throughout the day catch 30 fish on a jig you catch 30 fish on a drop shot or a worm you can almost guarantee on average your your overall better quality fish will be on that jig so that's just why you throw it funny that's exactly what I remember from the time they were biting real good eating the jig and whatnot up shallow shallower bluegill little bass all following the popper that's a good sign holy crap what is that is that a massive carp I did not expect to see carp spawning whatever that is it's massive Is that? Is that like a massive couple of catfish? I don't know what that is. Is that like a giant catfish dying? Oh my god, that's insane. Look at that. That is insanity. Do you guys see that? It's a catfish that's eating another catfish. Oh my god, I've never seen anything like that before in my life. <gasps> Look like a ling cod. Oh, they freed each other up. I guess they were just like kissing or something. What? Do catfish do that? Oh boy. It's gonna be a problem. It's only nine o'clock and the GoPro's overheating already. It's bigger than the drop shot fish. Yeah, it is, a little bit. Yeah, one, jig, one jig eater. Yeah, I don't even know if that would go 14. Go 12, and 12 is what these tournaments are. 12 inch minimum. It's kind of working out a little faster. Maybe they want it a little faster instead of a drag, I don't know. Good sign though, good sign. Everything's kind of shaping up to seem like a pretty good bite. But it's always the case though, when the bite's good, it's how do you get the bigger fish? A 
last into the GoPro. I guess maybe I gotta let it sit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, surprisingly, you didn't swallow it. That's a good one right there. That's the kind we need for the tournament. Four or five of those. Kind of get a reference. It's got to be a 16, 17, maybe. Oh, yeah. One of those long spots. Almost 17. Good tournament fish right there. There's more of them down below us, too. Hopefully, they're the same size. That'd be cool. Yeah, it just always seems to happen like that. Make a cast, take a sip of coffee, beer, eat a sandwich, play with your phone, pick up the rod. There's a bite. It's like a little bit bigger mark. Oh no, there goes the rear. Oh. Man. Gotta figure out what to do about these GoPros. This is not good. That's not good either. So oh many fish. Those look like bigger marks, but it's hard to say. So even like these ones make marks that sometimes are deceptive. tail it's a good bite right now but just same story as before and many of the times it's figuring out how to catch those bigger fish gotta be a jig i think just all tournament day just commit to it have the mentality of not trying to catch a million fish just five of the right ones let's drop it down right on these fish right here there's a bunch of you right there we eat the jig pretty little dinkers but Following it down, following it down. Need the biggest one of you out of that school to eat it. Well, there we go. Well, that's what? Three fish on the jig, two fish on the drop shot, and I think all three of the jig fish have been bigger than the drop shot fish. I mean, that's not a huge one, but see if any of these buddies are silly enough to fall for it again. Put it right on them. Takers. Nope. They wised up to it. That is such a trip. It seems to always be the case here for me at Malone Ice. You catch one out of a school and it's kind of hard to get another one out of there. It's like they totally see the fish get caught and they just kind of know. Right there, small fish. Let's catch one. Catch one for for giggles. Oh, lost my worm. For giggles, let's see. What do we think? Six incher, ten incher. I'm gonna go ten incher. And ten incher. That's ten incher, right? It's fun catching them still. Gotta say that. It's fun when they're biting. The other thing too I've noticed is all the areas where I've gotten bit, it hasn't been around like steep rock, big boulders. It's kind of been more of these tapered banks. Even a little bit more activity on these tapered banks. So that's something good to know. It's considering going up the river and that's a lot of steep rocky bank with boulders and such. But if they're not relating to it, I might be wasting my time. Tomorrow is another day of pre-fish, of course. We're not going to fish over the same water. Kind of torn if I should go up the river just to rule it out or if I should go down south and fish more tapered areas like these. Leaning towards south. Big one. Large mouth, eh? Man. 
Well, your camera's off, of course, but yeah, that's exactly what you want in a kayak tournament. Nice long ones. It's an 18 all day, I think. I think I actually caught a jig fish here five years ago. <laughs> nice one five years ago. And the same little cut when the water was up. You know what? That's that might be a 19er. No, oh, 18. 18 and a quarter. Man, great kayak bass though. Five of those dudes. Maybe even just a couple of them with some 16, 17 inches will win you the tournament here. Not bad. Look at that. It's like a grilled cheese right now. Or should I say a hot ham and cheese? There we go, that's a big hit. This one crushed it. <laughs> Dude smoked it. Smoked it. Thought it was really big. <laughs> Just really aggressive. Mister, look at all the gills around here. <laughs> Crazy. Ooh, I think that's what hit. Big largemouth right there. I'd say big, like two and a half, three pounder. I think he just missed my bait. Hey, yeah, swimming with all the blue. Oh, shoot. Look at all those fish. Those are some good fish down there. Decent ones. That's like a. Oh man, I just can't see it. Yeah, darn it, they left that really well that way. That was a school of maybe 15, 20, pound and a half, two pounders. I think they're largemouth too. They're right below the boat too. This could be one of those spots that would be the, the right spot if they're biting. I just, I don't know if they're biting. It's one thing to see a bunch of fish. It's the other to get them to actually bite and commit to a bait. Well, it's area to mark. Good area to potentially come to if I need to score maybe a, a bigger fish on top water. This could be the spot. I know there's fish around here. I think I'll just get one chance though at it. Seems like those fish, that one took a swipe at it and they saw me and they were gone after that. A nice little secondary pattern though, or maybe a Hail Mary pattern. Top water, back of creeks or dead ends with grass. Like that, maybe. Or just keep throwing it all day, maybe. It's not a giant, but it's a, it's a fish we tricked. There's a couple of nice ones with them, see? Yeah, came off. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Shoot, I might have to come here for sure now. I'm so glad we are not truck camping for this one, guys. You have no idea. Whew. This'll do. Nice. Look at this. 
I fish New Malones all the time. Drop shot, prism worm, top water. Let's say something 110, whopper plopper, Ned Rig, Scream Pumpkin. Hey, bam, Ned Rig. Good luck, right? That's nice. A little tip, a little Airbnb tip. Beautiful. Let's see if Terrence is here. Sometimes Terrence has come before and like snuck around and left presents in the fridge. Uh, no presents, but this is like, like a house house, it seems like. The heck? Definitely different. Yeah, this is like a person's house that they truly live in. Dang. Nice house. Santa! What's up, kid? Just got a shower. Just got out of the shower? Hey, thank God we're not camping. Hotter than hell, huh? Oh, well, yeah, it would just be a nightmare. Yeah, it would be. Do to take that? Uh, they're not cold. It's a house still. Dude, this is weird. This is like someone's like an actual house. Someone actually lives here? Yeah. Well, this is a trip. Terrence, you see this? The guy that lives here fishes. Hey guys, fish the new money. Both drop shot. 110. 110, whopper plopper. Wow, I brought my whopper plopper too. It's, huh? Yep. Please remove shoes upon entering. Yeah. They must like leave all the time. Maybe. Yeah. If you want to try Ocho, do you remember these? I think I do. It's Goza style, so it's not super sour. Ooh, more tart. It's got lime. That sounds like it'll hit the spot right about now. Yes, yes it will. I feel like you and I always make it first to the Airbnbs. Well, that's good. We get the first beer. Yeah, cheers, oh. man. Wow, that tastes really good. Right? It's got a little salt. Yeah. Super refreshing, huh? Yeah. That's like one of the most refreshing beers I think I've ever tasted. That's good. Feels I, like it's... Uh, uh, like nutritious. Yeah, it right? seems like it's good for you. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> and it's all uphill. What time did you say you launched? 8.30. 8.30? Yeah. And fish and tell. You know what, I didn't actually get here too long ago. I think I got here around 4.15. Oh, okay. Stayed right. out there pretty long. Yeah. yeah. Was it hot on the water? You know what, it was this morning when there wasn't any wind. Dude, it was crazy. Like the first like hour I was out there, cameras were just like shutting off. Already like too hot. Really? Yeah, I mean, I was facing the sun, but then the wind kind of picked up with a little breeze around 11. And it wasn't too bad. I don't get too bothered by the heat. Though. <coughs> Do you wear pants? Yeah. Yeah. Not like Florida, though. That humidity. Whew, that's Is not brutal. As soon as I got off the plane, I was just like, oh. <sighs> he just ghosted us. And he's got a trailer. Should we bring him a beer? Wow. Yeah, baby. Hey, trailer boy. <laughs> Dude, that is a it? sick trailer. <laughs> Dude, you know how nice it's going to be? You'd be like, hey, guys, break your backs. So I'm going to be like, drop it in. And then with the new port, I'm just going to pull it up like my boat. Have you, have you already oh, launched for it? No. Hey, buddy. How you oh, doing? Good, you? Good, good. to see you, bro. Good to see you, brother. Here, we always do this. All right. And you arrive. Oh. Nice. Dude, it's so good. Oh, those are these. So good. Dude. These are super good. These are my favorite. Wait until you try this one. It's got salt in it this time. It didn't have salt before. Oh, my God. Doesn't it feel like it's like a nutritious thing? Yeah, it's good for you. I can tell by the way it, it is tastes. on a hot day. All right, know, let's see this baloney. How much did it cost? 500. Really the tongue cool. was way too long, so I cut that. Oh, my broken boondocks now become marker things. This right here is an old Hobie rack that they use at the shop to display the Hobie. So I cut it off and mounted it inside. Put the tape because on Because otherwise it. you can't see the trailer. You're like a safety magnet. Dude, I just want to be safe. Wow, that's nice. That's a yeah. really nice trailer. Get up. Look at this. Oh my, oh my God. God. Holy mackerel. They're mate, they're courting, dude. They're just like humans, I want to kiss. Classic. Oh, this is Derby beer right here. Tall cans. This goes out. I'll be a human forklift. Dude, how many cases of Ultra Base? That's like, we're going to drink down the boat tomorrow. <laughs> Tall pails are the official Derby beer. It's been a long time, you guys. I felt like the Delta was a weird term because we didn't really hang out too much. It's so high. Dude, thank God we're not camping. Oh, baby. Hey, buddy. Uh, how are you? I had a 3X. Yeah. 
Yeah, I got stuck behind some people that... I should pull forward a little bit, I got huh? stuck behind a crash. It just it must have happened like right when I went by. I got stuck in that. Hey, how are you? Let's see you. How you doing? Um, good now that I'm here. Truck started to break down. People were crashed. No, not good. Not good at all. We've not got, happy. We've got beer if you need I'm some. I'm going to need 45 beers to get over that drive. How long? Gregory. Four and a half hours. Hello, home. Ho, 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 Mary. See you early today. Hey, look, you are a forklift. I gotta go pee pay. Oh, I got my shoes on. Daddy, What's daddy, all then? I gotta make a pee pee in the toilet with my wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna set that up in the sun and enjoy it, huh? Yeah. Broccoli, there's a, huh? There's a lot of broccoli. That's cool. Oh, we're healthy drinkers. Oh, pineapple. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. You know, I'm Crocs. What's going on? What are you, what are you with those shoes? Don't worry, I'll have my Crocs on. Dude, you know what's going to be sick? When everyone's at the ramp tomorrow putting their stuff away, I'm driving away with my rods and my rod holders. I'm going to try it and see whatever happens, happens. In the back? Yeah, why not? Don't put it in there. Scanner. <laughs> Scan it out. Hey! How oh, are you, precious? Oh, I thought you were... What's up, sweetie? Oh, oh there, buddy. Look at that hair, dude. You guys smell like beer? That's how it's hot. Nice. He's okay. finally got a one in the first draft. Oh, thanks. Work. They break easier. I'll tell you that. It's literally <laughs> your poop. Now, we're going to be here for. No, this is somebody's house. house. Oh, really? Yeah, they just go out of town for the weekend and rent the thing out. Why don't we just skip eating and go catfishing, dude? How sick would that be? There's a doe in the backyard. What are the odds? It's, it's, one. They probably <laughs> feed him. He's looking at the door like he owns a place. Hey, brother. Can you tow my sleigh for me? <laughs> <laughs> It's a long time. Right. We are not a religious person. We're back at it. We're, We're back. back, at it. We're back on vacation. I got to shout out a couple of guys that are typically in videos. Maybe not so much this year, but have always been in videos getting some questions. First off, Obi Williams. Where Who? is he? People's Champ. Is he still here? He's still alive. Where is he at? Is he alive? He's around. He's he's fishing. He's on the Delta. He's catching yonders. Uh, oh, he's a big time podcaster now. Check out his podcast. Yeah. Hey, what's it called? Yonder Tales. I didn't even get an invite to be on it. Uh, me either. I just, I'm saying, Oh wants to come to He's just been busy. Second guy, Brandon. Brandon Miller. Brandon. Brandon. Ban. 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 Bandana. Oh, the guy that's in first place in the yeah, NY? The guy. Ban. Ban. <laughs> yeah. He will be coming. He'll be joining us tomorrow. All right. So we got that out of the way. But finally back, Yakabas. Event number six out of eight. Uh, new Malones. It's hot. We're here for pre-fish, though, as I've mentioned before in this video. And uh, since we have all the crew here, tomorrow being Friday, what better time to do a pre-tournament derby? For the L trophy, currently owner of Mr. It's Mike. The only thing I've all year. Mike has the trophy. If you guys haven't been familiar with the Derby, the night or the day before the tournament, the we Derby all... that really matters. Yeah, we That's all... true. <laughs> so basically, our pre-fish, we have a little side wager as to who gets the uh, pre-tournament Derby trophy. I guess the rules always kind of vary. Tomorrow, New Malone's longest three. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yakabas Malone's original. Three. Yeah. Minimum twelve. Yes. 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 Minimum... Oh, wait, if we're on the Delta, it's minimum eight and three quarter. Do we have time? Frame yeah, we're, we're not gonna be out there all day, are we? Let's it's call it three to be over 100. Three o'clock picture no. has to be taken before the clock says three. Timestamp 259 59. Any time before that. I, What's I had, the side wager you were talking I'm about? Getting into that. Uh, the side wager should be since we're all using I hope it's we all have, the old ones. No, we have all boards. We got boards. <laughs> Oh, that's right. My fingers are wrong. Mm -hmm. Damn. Side wager. Oh, he's Can you edit this? Out. Hey, oh. throw me a beer. Wow. Thanks, bro. Okay, so what's this side pot you talk of? Side pot. Tell oh, me of the side pot. <laughs> Single smallest fish on the catch board for $20. Like a one inch fish? When um, you say smallest fish, is it a bass? Yeah, it's gotta be a bass. It can't be like a shad. You have to catch right. it on a lure. Uh, artificial lure. Yeah, artificial lure. You have to have a pitcher with the hook and the fish. Well, no, we'll trust you, but you have to yeah, have it on the board. It has to be on the board. But you could like butthole hook one, well, jigging don't, I mean, come I on. I don't we're... think we're gonna cheat, but. Yeah, don't be know. a cheater. I'm talking to him. Yeah, uh, look at that.
right. So twenty dollars side pot, smallest fish on the catch board. So two inches would be the minimum. Yeah, minimum size. It's right. hard to do. I'm gonna say that it's hard to do. Twenty dollars. I'm in. Hard. I'm in. Hard. I'm in. I'm in. Hard. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Who's you in? in? Are you in? Who's in? I wow. want to be in because I, I suck I, at fishing, but I also don't understand how you can measure two inches. Are you in or not in? I'm almost in. I'm almost there. That's what she said. Speaking of two inches, I guess I'm in. <laughs> Why, dude, we got to get some Ric Flair drip going in dude. here. We need Ric Flair. Shit. Woo! Wow. Sounds good. All right, we're back, guys. Back at it. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Woo! Down the chicken ranch. Chicken? No, because I had fish there a long time ago and I want to see what it looks like this year. That's where I'm going to crush it and win. I'm, I'm pretty sure Mike just goes where the coolest name is. Oh, yeah, chicken ranch. What's another cool name I go to? <laughs> Do you guys ever stretch? All the time. Really? I'm going to start learning how. I've never done it my whole life. I should definitely, you know, the important, most important stretch for you? What? Hip flexor stretch. Wait, how do you do it? Yeah. You know what's your hip flexor. Yeah. Yeah. Get a chair and uh, one leg up like this, and then just lean forward, and then like rotate a little bit, just kind of like hold it. There you go. Oh. There you go. Now bring your, bring your right knee up. My right knee up? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, and then lunge forward. Arch your butt. There you go. Bring your right foot forward. There you go. Now try and lick your right elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Go into the downward dog Dude, and I'll show you the... We sit all day in the kayak. <laughs> Go into the downward dog and I'll show you the up dog. <laughs> Alright, let's go derby. is a lot smaller than it is. So we said two inch minimums. All right, just one thing to note. No cameras on the fellas boats today. It's just not gonna be feasible. Camera is overheating. It's already super hot. And uh, given my issues, I don't think it's gonna work. So we're gonna keep it simple. Leave a little bit of suspense. Are we group texting? Is there like a submission rule today? No sandbagging, gotta go in the group text. Right when you catch it. Okay, all right.
All right, boys, best of luck to you. Everyone got their boards, right? I'm assuming. That's something I'd forget. Bye, Dutcher, have fun. Alrighty folks, here we go, practice day two. New part of the lake, use a little bit of what we figured out yesterday to hopefully be productive today and eliminate more water, or hopefully find some good water. This spot over here caught my eye. I saw some bait flicking, I don't know if you can see the bait right there. Nothing busting on it, but I think we gotta go top water to start. You know what, it's not even bait, it's a little bass. You can already see them, the same little bass we saw yesterday. They're just feeding on bugs right now. But yeah, gonna fish a lot of, uh, I guess you'd call them do-nothing banks. These banks that really look like nothing probably won't fish a whole ton of steep rock, which that always looks good. Like visually, that's very fishy looking. I just wasn't getting a lot of bites off of them. Hardly any at all. We'll see. It's a new day. It's gonna be hot, <laughs> just as hot. Shoot, if I can actually hook one of these little bass and win the side pot too. Dude, I do have like, I think I've got a crappie jig somewhere in my box. <laughs> oh god. Mr. Sullivan on the board, couple of fish. Dutch with small fish. <laughs> oh boy. them now instead of tomorrow. They're definitely gonna get bit. Odds are it'll be a small fish but kind of rooting for that. Maybe these are better fish. That doesn't feel like a micro by any means. A good one. Dang. Maybe these are better fish. I don't think I can boat with this one. Oh, that's good. Dude, this is a fighter. Oh, not a bad one. Oh man, there's a bunch of them down there. This is like a money spot. Man, I thought he was way bigger. He was fighting like he was way bigger. Well, we got a scoreable fish. I'm curious to see yeah, what I say. Don't throw the drop shot? Well, maybe I need to throw the drop shot if I find a fat school with quality fish in it. That's definitely a fat school. Just want to see if there's micros mixed in too. Yeah, sometimes these fish school up by size, and for all that size, they're probably that size and a little bigger. It's like it's like the 8 to 12 inch school up, and then like the 12 to 16 inch school up, and then you guys get the idea. Let's see. The only other thing too is spots. Dude, they move a lot. They chase bait, especially at this time of year. So they could be gone tomorrow. I'm not gonna submit my fish. I can't sandbag. I forgot. I think 50 inches will take the win today. Someone's gonna catch a couple of 16 and change, and then a 17. These, these are better fish. For sure. I don't think this is a giant, but it's not like micro size like the ones we were catching yesterday on the drop shot. So positive, positive, I think, as long as they stay put. You guys stay put, will you? We'll get five quick ones off this spot tomorrow. Oh, there's another good one. Right, I'm gonna pluck one more off of this school and then we'll leave. Yeah, it's kind of looking like a starting spot. Let me just see them here. These are quality fish. Oh, god dang it. Next, dude. Right. 
Thank you. something a little deeper. It's a 10. Dude, let's throw on a 15. Touching the rest of it. Oh, man, it's so hard. I want to keep fishing. It's so bad. It's a largemouth. Nice. It's weird. I like finding stuff, but I also don't like it because then I like get too like set in stone on it. And then sometimes they're just not there the next day. There's a fatty. First one with a limit. What do we got to get rid of? I didn't send these. Some of them aren't sending. Why aren't these being sent? Dude, people are catching them. Man, that was a lot of fun. I just want to keep catching them. and a half now nah. all right well I did my damage here I caught him on a bunch of different baits let's get out of here I guess How many beers you had? Good boy. <laughs> yeah, it's easy, isn't it? Honestly, I found a fat school. I already left it. Big, big school. I, I, I got where I caught that 18 inches. There were like five or six good ones chasing it for the boat. Really? On a point? Yeah. Yeah. Not even really much of a point. I didn't even look at that. Did you get my pictures? Mine weren't even sending. Mine keeps saying that they didn't send, but then like Bam said something about my first one. I've gotten a bunch of years. That 18. Oh, you caught a 17 and a quarter too? 17 and three quarter. And an 18 incher? No. That's 17 and three quarter. That's a spot. Oh, it's a bargy. <laughs> it's a spot, you know. <laughs> That's the problem, though. The spots will leave the next day. Yeah, I mean, I'm probably just cruising by. Really? Oh, look at this. Watch. Ready? This is how easy it is to catch them. Oh, you to drop shot. Just watch. Just, they're everywhere. <laughs> watch. Ready? Give me 10 seconds, Dutch. Those actually might not be bass. Those are like, those might be bluegill. Oh, dude, I'm gonna get the small fish. Oh my God. No! I knew they were bluegill. Uh, they were like, whoop. 
Oh man. Gotch. Dude, this guy is literally. Is this for real? I'm really doing this? Oh. Pretty little guy. Uh, I'm gonna go sort of that way, but I don't know. That was my plan. Well, it's finally filling the water, so. Back. Feels weird. That feels weird. I must not have him hooked right. That feels really weird. That's why. Wow. Freaking snagged him. Jeez Louise. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, dude. Let's give you a little piercing. Fish out. I'm gonna mark this. I'm gonna mark it, even if I don't catch one on it. I know they're here. Yeah, nice. Cool. All right. and they're on the points and the humps. I kind of don't want to throw them back. I don't want to like spook the school. I feel like that happens all the time. You know, spook the school when you throw them back. They kind of know that one just got plucked. I don't think those are bass. I think, well, maybe they are. Well, all right, well, let's fish on this hump. with them too. I should have measured that one. Whoops. Maybe. A lot of points. Anybody with you? Anybody with you? Sorry, dude. Quick release. It's marking a lot of spots. See another point, though. It's got fish on it. All the fish blows. See? School up by size. Micros. So we chase the jig in. It's like they, I think they like attract to the kayak. Like they just need the shade or something. They're just attracted to it. I don't know if it's that way for bass boats, but it's like little ones always just follow the kayak. Just kind of getting under it. Did you guys hear my little crappie jig? I think these are small enough to throw the crappie jig to. Let's see if they eat this. Oh my god, they, they did. I don't think we're going to beat all those fish, but maybe we got to try. Get one of these guys. Oh, I got one. Oh my goodness. Wait, how big was all these fish? I think Aldi has me. 
Dang, look at that though. Six incher. It's a tiny one. Just got the release on that guy. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I have no clue how Alden caught that fish. Cause like these are as small as I could even potentially hook. These guys right here. It's like a finesse micro fluke in the water. Oh my god. It's kind of fun. It's catching little guys. Should have done the smallest five. The smallest three. I definitely would have won because I can definitely catch these little guys. Whoop. Scupper. Get in the scupper. There you go. All right, one more, I promise, and then I'm done. I'm actually doing something serious. <laughs> See, there's your so young, they don't learn. When they get bigger, they learn. When one of their buddies gets plucked, they learn not to bite. They'll learn eventually. <laughs> Choked it. Oh, man. I, ah, I gotta keep going. I gotta keep doing it. It's fun. Feel free to fast forward here, here, guys. Look at these fish. It's so cool. Kind of gives you an idea with like bass behavior. You know, they won't hit it if it's just sitting there, but if you twitch it, they definitely like hunt it down kind of thing. Ooh, that's real small. Dude, they crush this thing. It's so sick. It's so sick. I wonder if I can just like dip it down. I think the fun of this is just like seeing them crush the bait. It's fun just to see them bite. All right, we're done. Oh, epic release. All right, made a pretty good run all the way down south. Let's see uh, what's going on down here. I've looked at the group chat. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. Everybody's catching them and there's a couple of big ones. Oh my god, I might catch this. These are so tiny. I think I might catch one. I took a tiny piece of flatworm. One just bit it. This is the winning uh, side wager fish. Oh my goodness. And there goes the rear GoPro. Oh, oh, I got one. Stay in the boat, stay in the boat. Oh my god, he's so small that he's swimming. I got him, yes. That is a legal catch. That is a legal catch. Oh my God. Look at this fish. I cannot believe I just caught this fish. That is so crazy. I gotta get him to stay on the board though. Wild man. I cannot believe I caught the fish so small. All right, the scupper hole release. Yeah. Oh man, I gotta send this photo to the group. That's fantastic. It's gonna piss off Alden, I think. What's up? Oh, that is you. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm over to your left on that island. Oh, is that Mike and you over there? Uh, is that Mike? Behind you? Yeah. Oh, with the umbrella? Oh, yeah. I thought you went up the river. Uh, no, I decided not to today. I didn't want to make a super long run this morning. I wasn't feeling great. Yeah. Do some diving right now. You're gonna do some diving? Yeah, I got my snorkel and stuff. Oh, sh dude, you should take a GoPro with you. Uh, do you want it? Ah, uh, nah, don't worry about it. Dude, I've seen like 15 giant catfish today. Yell to Mike and tell him we're on the phone. Mike, I'm on the phone with Greg already. Yeah. Uh, Mike said don't go over there. That's where he's starting. <laughs> Dude, did you see my fish? No. Oh, I, some of my photos are like not going through. Yeah, I have like five that haven't gone through. I got a 2.75 incher. You liar. I swear to God. Oh, you <laughs> Did you snag it or get it in the mouth? I got it in the mouth. So what'd you get it on? I'm not telling. Oh my God. All right, I'll catch up with you a little bit. All right, Sam. Oh, 
Another big catfish. Jeez. Catfish must be spawning. Yeah, I wait up. Mine's pretty. Is this fish a shower boat? It is, huh? There's fish everywhere. You know what's crazy? I think the catfish are spawning. Oh yeah, I've seen a bunch of them show. has got a big, a giant ones. Oh yeah. You didn't bring, what's your vase? I have some. Oh, dude, that's really good. One of the tastiest beers ever made. In general, beverages I've ever had. I might have one right now. Have you submitted your fish to the group text? Yeah, nothing's going through. What do you got? No, I think like, I don't know. Well, Dutch is going to win. Terrence actually might win too. I don't know, but he's got a couple of good ones, I think. Dude, the GoPros would have never worked today. Mine are shutting off like crazy. <laughs> oh, Santa. I thought that was a buoy. Yeah, I'm gonna go. This guy's flagging down, so hang on. Right. I will. Alright, that's it. Oh, it's you! I thought you needed help. I thought that was a SOS. <laughs> well, I'm glad it's this. I better call Dutch. I was on the phone with Dutch. All right. Let him know that no one's dying over here. I thought I didn't look like you, so that's why. Yeah. It's skinny dipping. Oh, nice. Hello. Dude, someone's dead over here. What? I'm just joking. Terrence is skinny dipping right now. It was Terrence. Are you? Oh, Terrence. Yeah, I was like, oh, he is skinny. Jeez, dude. Dude, this is. <laughs> two-inch bass. I thought he's catching them two-inch bass. He's using his little <laughs> night crawler. <laughs> Is that how you caught that one, Terrence? <laughs> he got his mealworm out. <laughs> oh my god, there's a four-pound spot right there. Holy crap. Terrence, maybe your mealworm is attracting him. <laughs> That's actually a really big spot. Where are you at? You south of those islands? Yeah, if you can cut through, you'll be able to get through here, but... Man, I can see, I can see that I can cut through one of them. Cut through is right yeah, there. I'm, oh, I'm not... you can. Terrence said you can cut through. The spot's yeah, right see. there, dude. It's a big one. Really? Yeah, it's like a four pounder. You'll probably be able to see it soon. It's coming right at your, it's literally coming right towards you. To your left, to your left. It's coming for the mealworm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's funny is there's fish gathering around him. I swear Dude, to God. when I was swimming, I pulled up to this rock and there's a bass this big swimming right in front of my face. <laughs> That's cool. I had 45 inches. <laughs> Everything I got. Hello, everybody. Hello, friend. Hello, buddy. The judge is here. How's it? Hey, Mr. Hillwater. How's it? Oh, yeah, it's good. good. Good time being. Hey, brother. Hello, bro. Oh, Aldi, do you have a AOI screenshot by any chance? I post it on Facebook. One, two, four, five, sixteen, three. Oh, you're three? Three. I'm tied with Pua. Yeah, yeah, we can't. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta mention Pua in there. Yeah, Pua's in there for sure. Yeah, I got a chance. Either. I'm only I'm 16 points behind you. I'm wait, 21 points wait. behind Bam. Yeah, so his, his, coming. His yeah, I, I, I hella feel it. I'm tripping. I, I'm just like, dude, like I have no drop. Have to crush every tournament. Like every time I fish. I'm I mean, like, honestly, like, like you're sitting in a great spot, right? Maloney's Delta Barry. Like, Delta, I'm, I'm cool with Barry. I'm pretty cool with in the fall. Yeah. But it's still pretty cool with the Maloney's. I'm mean, historically it really hit or miss. Here's the thing. There's everyone. Honestly, if people don't catch a lemon tomorrow, they deserve a punch in the throat. Don't That's say just that. that. I don't want to get punched <laughs> in the throat. <laughs> Missed you last one. <laughs> All right, Terrence, you want to leave this one? All right, I'm taking over. I'm taking over the channel. It's gonna be Santa Santa's channel. Santa Blanchard. All right, uh, here we are. Derby time. Bam just joined us. He was uh, oh, official Bam. judge right. again. So derby time wait, wait, was wait, warm. Question, question: Does everyone know their lights? Yes. Yeah. I think so. I have no idea what mine is.
yours. All right, keep it up. I licked mine up. You licked yours up? I licked mine up. I want to lick um, you up and down. So we got out on the water, what, probably about 7.30? Actually, yeah. relatively early for our derby. It was like yeah, 6, yeah. wasn't it? That may have been the earliest derby we've ever started. It was warm, obviously. I think it got up to 107 today. It was pretty hot. Those of us that dunked our heads in the water, that was nice. Yeah. You dunked both heads, <laughs> Terrence. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> Live scope worked. <laughs> it was still still tough to like find big fish. It was just a lot of keepers, but... Uh, it was fun, though. A lot of action, yeah. though. It was good. Good fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was good by. Um, I fished for four inches for like two hours. Oh yeah, sure. well we'll get. Oh we yeah, get we'll side get, pot first. We could do side pot. What, what was your smallest fish, Terrence? I never measured a small fish. Did you I have any try. unders like under twelve? No. Damn. No. All right, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sand's only catches giants. Maybe, yeah. maybe 11, 11 and a half. Mike got a real small one. How come he didn't send that to the text? I, I sent them all in. The text yeah, is weird. I That's a, a four and three quarters. quarters. That's a five. That's not touching all. <laughs> That's a oh, judge? Judge? It is judge? Oh, yeah. It's time to judge. Uh, you could have made that shrink, dude. I, I didn't want to cheat. It was the first time I was trying to make a fish not touch a line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a four and three quarters. You don't think that's touching the line? No. Look. That, that small fish would have actually technically touched. I had Alden's small one, right? I think it's not the cool version. Do you have his a... weighed more than mine for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you his is fat, dude. Yeah. I'm gonna call it a four and three quarter. Dutch, your small one, roughly? About 11 and a half. Uh, you wanna go? Ah, uh, four and three quarter. That's what the donkey looked uh, like hanging crab, off crab the jig. Yeah. It actually makes it look giant. That looks like like way bigger than... Isn't that crazy? <laughs> That's only four and three quarters. Are you like photoshopping? A... He's got a giant board in his boat. It's like... <laughs> it's like a 15 incher. All right, Please. shall I just cut to the chase here? Yeah. Small fish for me, two and three quarter. Judge, do you want to just confirm? Just. That's not a bass, that's a smelt, dude. No, it's a pond smelt. It is a spotted bass. I don't know, I feel like you like snatched it. Out I of think water. you did. There's I got it all in camera. No way that thing I got, got it on camera. Well. That is the most impressive fish I've ever seen caught. Thank you. Yeah. I want to see this cheater. That makes your fingers look like Mike's. How did that get a hook? <laughs> That <laughs> looks like freaking pot, uh, man. All right, small pot, Greg. Now we're moving on to uh, the old trophy. It was best three. What did you have? I had 44 inches. I had a 17 that probably weighed a pound. I had 45. So 44, 45. 47 and a half. Ooh. 56. <laughs> Just joking, 44. <laughs> <laughs> what a, oh, I guess I won then, because I had 54. 54 Damn. inches. Four. Hats off to you, Coach. Damn. Nice, Coach. 54. Nice. Good job, guys. This is Coach's first Co turn first. of the trophy. That's what first I'm talking about. First turn with the trophy. Like, you want to do the handoff? Official handoff? Like? I don't really. But yeah, oh, I guess this so. hurts you, doesn't it? Yeah. Don't that think would be perfect. perfect. We've already got it. Yeah. 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 All right, Coach. Yeah. All right. Ah. Keep Lock your bow to Coach. Trophy. Coach. To Coach in his first bout with the coach. trophy. Nice job, Coach. Nice. Cheers. 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 Cheers.